Hello English learners, welcome back to another Level Up English video. And today is a simple one, but I think one that people get really confused with, by the way, including native speakers. So don't worry if you get confused, we do as well, this is a hard one. But hopefully this video is going to make things clear once and for all, and that is a difference between lay and lie. Do you lay down? Do you lie down? What is the difference? So we're going to go through this today and hopefully by the end of the video you will have a clear understanding. So I guess to understand these two words, lay and lie, these are both present base form verbs, to lay and to lie. The difference in technical grammar language is to lie is intransitive, which means it doesn't need an object. So I could say, I lie, I lie down, right? He is lying. That has two meanings. You know, we're, not, we're not talking about the not telling the truth, lying, but we're talking about lying down. He's lying. We don't need to say an object here. He is lying. With lay, this word is transitive. So that means we need an object. In other words, we talk about something being laid down. So for example, here's a simple one. I lie down on the bed. However, I lay my phone on the bed. So in that sentence, phone is the object. I lay my phone. So in non-grammatical terms, lie is what a person can do. Lay is what you can do to something else, right? You can lay your phone on the bed. A chicken will lie down to have a sleep. A chicken will also lay an egg, to lay an egg. Right? The meaning's a little bit different. Lay an egg, lay down, kind of place an egg to produce an egg, right? But yeah, and by the way, we often say lie down. You might have noticed that, lie down, this phrasal verb. I imagine one reason is simply because if we don't say down, it sounds like we're saying lie as in the not telling the truth, the fibs, right? So in order to avoid the confusion between telling a lie and lying down, we use this word down, I think, so lie down. So, oh, I'm a little bit dizzy, I need to lie down. And then maybe as a, as a baby, my parents would lay me in bed, they would lay me in the bed, that they would put me in the bed. I was the object in that case. But where it gets a bit more confusing is where we look at the past tense as well. So all verbs will have a first form, let's say present simple form, a past simple form, and a past participle form. These are often known as verb one, verb two, and verb three, okay? So with lie, this is intransitive, we have lie, lay, and Lane. So this is really confusing because the past tense of lie is the same as the word lay. So lay could be present tense, transitive, or past tense intransitive. It's very confusing, isn't it? So if I went to bed, let's say I lie down in bed. Yesterday, I lay down. I lay down in bed yesterday. People often say I lied down, but that is not correct. We say I lay down in bed. If you want to say past participle, then this is where we say like present perfect, for example, with have. I would say I have lain down. So lain, I have lain down. She has lain down. Okay, so that's lie, lay, lain intransitive. If we look at transitive verb lay, the past simple is laid, laid with a D, okay? So I lay my phone on the desk. I laid my phone on the desk. Very simple now, past participle is the same. It's laid. So I have laid my phone. I laid my phone, I have laid my phone. So they're both the same, that's a simple one. 
So it would be incorrect if you said, I, like yesterday I lay my phone on the desk because that is the other verb, we don't say that. So what I think I'll do, I'll put a table on the screen here to show you uh, clearly these two verbs and the three forms in which they can come. And hopefully that makes it a bit more clear for you. But I really think the best way to practice is to make your own example sentences. So leave a comment below and give me some examples using these words. And I think that's gonna make it more clear for you. I'm gonna leave it here though, make it quite a nice short and simple video. I hope this cleared things up for you a little bit. I really hope it didn't make it more confusing, but with some practice, I know you can do it. If you are feeling a bit confused, go have a lie down. Maybe you can put your laptop away or your phone, lay that down on the desk, have a lie down. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.